Okay, so this is running. Um, our next step is going to be to try to get this button um, to display properly on the console grid. Okay, um, and to do that, to do that, we're going to um, adjust uh, slightly this game class. Okay. Now, what we don't want to do, okay, what we don't want to do is change this class. All right. This is our base abstraction, and we don't want to rewrite this. Like when we decide to do a new game, we don't want to have to delete stuff. Okay. Um, instead, what we want to do is create an object to represent our new game that uses the game object as its base. Okay. So we're basically going to create a copy of this thing without actually typing it all in. All right. And here's how you do that. You're going to create a new file. We're going to call this file Minesweeper. Okay. Dot .py. Um, in it, you're going to go from game import game. Okay. And then you're going to go class Minesweeper. And then in parentheses, game. And then a colon. Right. And so what this does is it creates a child object. All right. This child object is the base object for um, for the game. All right. And so what we're going to do right now, just for uh, the purposes of, of exploring this for the first time, just type in pass. Okay. You type in pass when you want to do a little placeholder, okay, um, so that it's basically exactly the same as game, but uh, now it's called Minesweeper, okay? Um, and to show you that this works, we're going to go into main.py, all right, and then instead of from game import game, we want to do from Minesweeper import Minesweeper. Okay. And then and here where it says game, put in Minesweeper. Now remember, we did not define a Minesweeper.event handler or a Minesweeper.update. We did not do that. Okay. The only thing in Minesweeper is the word pass. Okay. So this implies that there's an event handler and an update for Minesweeper. All right. So if I click run here, you'll notice that nothing happens. Okay. Nothing happens. But it worked. Okay. So that should be slightly surprising because we did not code anything into Minesweeper, but we are definitely calling event handler and update. You can tell that, you're, that that's true by coming into game.py, and remember that we are holding place here with this, this print, all right? So let's just, I'm just gonna add the word update here, okay? And then down here in the event type, I'll get, I'll put in click. <laughs> so, I'll stop this and reload it, and you'll notice immediately that the word update is going to start printing. Okay, the word update is going to start printing, and then if I click, um, if I click in the window up here, you'll get, oh, uh, let's see, I should get a click in there, but I don't see it. Let's stop. Let's see if I can find one. I didn't see it happen. 
it should have happened. Um, we'll go ahead and let's uh, comment that out. There we go. And then run it. Now I should be able to get a click event. There we go. There, there they are. Click events. Okay. Um, okay. So just showing you that it's working. Um, what's significant here is that I made these changes to game. I did not cha make the changes to Minesweeper. Okay. I made the changes to game, but they were reflected in Minesweeper. This is because Minesweeper is a child object of game, which means it has all the properties of game. All right. And then tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to explore a little bit more about how making a child object is significant um, and uh, how we can then utilize that to our advantage. All right.